now I have to uh, I have to sort of clarify things. I posted a tweet. Uh, and this tweet was uh, last night, actually. And now it's kind of exploded. I, I should go and look at it. Let's go and see how I'm going to look at it on Twitter. I posted this last night and I basically said, I've got receipts. And I do have receipts, but you have to understand that there's going to be a buildup to this. All right. And uh, let me see if I can find it for you here. I can't, I'm not going to really put this on screen because you can go find this on Twitter if you want, but I'm just going to read it. Uh, where did I put that? There we go. Um, oh, so Jeremy Boring of all people got involved too. Do you know what Jeremy Boring is? He's one of the, he's like the, one of the main partners in Daily Wire. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Jeremy, you need to be very careful here. Um, because I have people, where did it go? Ah, here we go. All right. So I put this out last night, 15 hours old now. I've got 100% confirmed that Pearl Davis, Pearl, Pearly Things, does in fact work for or with the Daily Wire. Now, does she pull a paycheck? Is she getting employee benefits? Let's uh, let's count the ways we can take this as literal as possible. So Rolo gets, Rolo's not right. He can't be possible. can't possibly be right. Okay. Well, I've got receipts for this one, and I need to sort of give you the background as to how this happened, okay? And the reason why I was kind of like fluffing up um, James Sexton here is because James is actually involved in this too, okay? So before I, before I dive in here, let me give you the preamble of all this. So here's the preamble for this. Uh, where'd we go? Ah, this was a really good one. I'm going to throw this one up here. This is Pierce Morgan, by the way, okay? So Pierce Morgan's people reached out to me uh, when was this? This was back on, when was this? This was about 10 days ago. How many days ago was this? I was, I was, I was happy as a pig and shit when I saw this too. I was like, oh man, this is great. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm finally Pierce Morgan is like, their people are reaching out to me. Uh, let me see where it is. Ah, here we go. Now I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Hi Rolo. Hope you, hope you're well. I'm Kieran, Kieran. Aren't they all? <laughs> aren't they all named something like that in 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 the UK? Um, from Pierce Morgan's international show. Yeah, I know who Pierce Morgan is. Thanks, uh, Pierce Morgan, uncensored, uh, the world's most watched current affairs sh affairs show. Is it really? Uh, I'm reaching out because I came across your work, and I was hoping you'd be interested in joining Pierce for a debate about men in the 21st century. With a question mark. Well, absolutely, I would be. <laughs> I've only been calling you, calling out your bullshit for oh, I don't know, four, three, four years now. Um, I think our viewers would be interested in hearing your perspective on a number of issues. They never tell me what those issues are, but I'm used to that because this is exactly the same bullshit that the producers on Dr. Phil pulled when they asked me to be on the show. Got it. We have more than 2.4 million YouTube subscribers. Okay, that doesn't impress me because Tim Pool actually probably has more than that right now. <laughs> uh, we have over say, over six hundred million YouTube views. Uh, still doesn't impress me. What I want to know is what your impressions are, what your impression rate is, what your uh, audience retention is, and uh, what well your CTR of course, and uh, what is audience retention, impressions, and CTR. Uh, fastest growing broad, uh, broadcast YouTube channel in the world. Fastest growing. Mm, that's arguable. 69% of our audience is aged between 18 and 44. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, 21 plus million likes on TikTok. Uh, yeah, you're that definitely the, all of those are vanity metrics guys. Uh, Kieran, if you're watching, those are vanity metrics. I want to know click through rate. I want to know impressions. I want to the uh, quick click through percentage. And then I also want to know, uh, what are your analytics? That's really what I'm more interested in. All of this stuff it doesn't impress me because I know how YouTube works. Uh, our shows tapes weekly on Monday and Wednesday between 11 a.m. Eastern time and 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'd be happy to organize an interview on a day that works for you. Hope you can make it. Hope we can make it work. All the best. Yada yada yada. Well, there you have it. Okay, good enough. So let's pull that out of there. That was about two weeks ago now. And when I got that, I passed it to Mike. I passed it to a few, just a few select people that I thought would, would really like that. But like, I'm always cautiously optimistic about these things because prior to that, about four to six weeks ago, I had the people from Tim pool 
reach out to me or one of their one of their girls who does the booking apparently and i don't know if this is for a fact or for real but she has this in her bio anyways that she is the 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 i don't know the content talent scout i don't know for tim pool and she she hit me up and she said hey you know hey i want to get you in the D, in, in dms can you you know do you want to do you want to be on tim pool and so i'm not going to show this to you because i don't want to I, I don't like to uh, put out uh, dms but i can read it to you uh where did it go so oh that's i don't know where did she go Let's see if i can find this chickadee um i have to give you the names because people are going to go well who was it that wasn't who you thought it was well, okay well you're gonna have to sit and hold your water for a little bit here uh, what is her name? God damn it. Sorry, I got to look this up just because I got to I have to cover all of my bases here because if I don't, people are going to give me shit for this one. Rolo got fooled by another email. Oh, no, not this time. I didn't. her name well there's zuby uh Clytus, not her sorry i'm looking for this chick who but anyways this, it's not really even that important what is it oh here it is lisa eliza elizabeth lisa elizabeth producer of the culture war tim cast Former congressional comms, U Penn, University of Penn, Pennsylvania, alumni. She reached out to me. I said, how can I help you? Um, I even gave her my number. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you can call or text me. She said, thanks you. I'll give you a call later. My number is blah, blah, blah. So you can recognize it when I call. This was on February 6th. So today is what, March 3rd. Still haven't heard anything from these people. Haven't heard anything from Pierce Morgan. but. So as you can tell, I was kind of primed and ready, let's just say, uh, for, an, uh, for another great, um, I don't know, interview perhaps. Now, I'm going to give you another build up here. When, um, when Myron and Fresh decided they wanted to do a collab with the snake called Pearl, not my words, uh, by the way, um, uh, they were saying something to the effect that they wanted to do a uh, a show with Brian from whatever podcast and do sort of this, um, I don't know what we would call it, like trad cons versus red pill. They want to talk about marriage. They want to talk about divorce. It was kind of like what I, I think Brian's actually pulled it off a couple of times because he knows Michael Knowles and he, you want to know somebody who probably know who probably actually does collabs with daily wire. It's most likely Brian because Brian has had Candace Owens on. He's had Michael Knowles on. Um, I'm trying to think who well. Oh, he's had Amala on from Prager U. I'm trying to think the other ones, but they the, the safe kind of bro podcast or dating podcast or whatever it is, like kick the girls uh, Frank Castle podcast. <laughs> um, is is whatever. It's not uh and that forgive my language here, but this is my impression is that I think one of the reasons why they like uh whatever and Brian better than Fresh and Fit, who they won't mention by name. Um, is because Brian's the nice, safe white guy. That's why. And so, ergo, you can have uh, Farah, Farah, and uh, Jasmine Jafar and Pixie, who I like. I kind of like Pixie, but um, you can have them on with Michael Knowles, and then they can have this back and forth, and everybody gets their clips, and everybody gets click through rate, and everybody gets their shorts, and everybody gets uh, you know some sort of some sort of pat on the back. They get their their, their cheap you know, worthless engagement, well, soon to be worthless engagement. And I think Brian's pretty much been able to pull this off pretty well. So you'll have to forgive me going in. I've had, uh, let's see, I've had uh, Lisa Elizabeth from Tim, Tim cast kind of like, and, and tease me a little bit, right here, here, I'll give you an edge. Then I get Pierce Morgan's people, Kieran, whoever his name is wanting to have me on and uh, nothing really panned out from that. That was like almost two weeks ago that, that that came in well there's one more one more offer came in and i was i was floored so i have to read this to you this is how floored i was 
So uh, where'd it go? Oh, no, not that one. Uh, we'll come back to that. Hi, my name is McKenna Waters. I'm the associate producer for the Matt Walsh show at the Daily Wire. I'm fucking goddamn, man. Jackpot. <laughs> we would like to invite you to join a, uh, to join a panel to discuss the issues of marriage. I will add the details of this panel below, which never materialized. <laughs> Please let me know if you would be interested in attending the location, Daily Wire Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Gee, I wonder if they pay for transportation and hotels, uh, uh, Patrick Bet David. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, March 11th or March 12th. I could even do that. I was even available. I would be happy to fly from Las Vegas, Nevada to Nashville. No problem. Ready to go. Other invited panelists, James Sexton and, lo and behold, Pearl Davis. Host, Matt Walsh. Man. This sounds fucking awesome. Doesn't this sound fucking great? This is fucking cool. Watch this. So this was this came to me at uh, in the morning. So I know it says 246 at the top there. That's when I, I got the actual message. Let me tell you why. Because when this was uh, uh, on Wednesday. So I got this email on Wednesday. Now. I was moving my mother-in-law into my house in Reno because she's caretaking our house while I'm down here in Las Vegas, right? So I'm moving her and everything around. It took maybe three or four hours. She doesn't have that much shit. Then I got this at 2.46. I'm like, fucking hey, And I instantly replied. So I said, yes, I would love to do that. Let me know when and where. Give me the, give me the logistics. Give me the details. I'd be happy to do that. And the original email was sent at 10.45 in the morning on Wednesday morning. I'm like, Fuck yeah, no problem. Let's do this. And of course, you you even with Pearl being on there, I probably would have run her up the flagpole, but I'm going there primarily because I want to be on there with Jim Sexton. I'm like, fuck, we can be on Matt Walsh. So I know we're walking into an ambush, but if I'm there with Jim, I know we can fucking make a we can really make a dent in this. We can really do something really good. Finally do something you know significant with these fuckwits, right? Cool. Well, that's not how they work, and that's not how fucking Pearl works. So here we go. At 2.46, eh, I actually shouldn't say that, about 2.30, I respond. So let me set this up for you. I get the email. It comes in at 10.45 in the morning. I respond to it at 2.30 in the afternoon. So you're looking at like what? Let's just say, let's round it off. So 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. Four hours. Four fucking hours. Like I said, it didn't take me that long to move her. I send back a reply. I said, yes, I'm ready to go. Let's do this, baby. I get this instead. <laughs> the Daily Wire panel invitation. Hi, Rolo. Thank you for your response. Unfortunately, since the time I emailed, I actually filled the slot. Oh, darn. That you were that you would have been in. Sorry uh, for the inconvenience. Thank you for again for your considerations and reply. Best. See ya. Love ya. Mean it. Okay. Damn, McKenna. Sorry, I guess in the four hours that it took for me to reply to this, you filled that slot. I wonder who could have been that person that they filled the slot with. Well, one thing that you guys don't know is that Jim Sexton and I are very, we're besties, man. We, we, we just, yeah, you know, we're kind of giving each other back rows. We're just like, we're cool like that. You know, he's a good dude. I'm a good dude. I've known Jim for quite some time. In fact, um, when Jim went on uh, soft white underbelly, I reconnected with Jim. I know we hadn't talked in a while, Jim. You know, I'll give you that. Um, but we reconnected. I was in, uh, it was just after my daughter's wedding in August and it was just after the whole Brittany Venti blow up. Right. And I'm like, fuck it, let's do a show. And it was the first time I was in Tahoe and I was at the rental place in the Tahoe keys. Blo fantastic place. Great place to do a podcast. I said, you know what? I'm going to just see if Jim wants to do a show. He did. And so we talked about divorce and it's actually one of my best watched shows. You can check it out right now. I think it's up to like 150, 200,000 views right now. So I'm looking at this. I'm going, this doesn't fucking smell right. Only four hours. That's all. That's how long it took. You couldn't just say, Hey, well, we'll wait for him until he gets back to me tomorrow. Like, like what if I was like, what if I was like doing a podcast? What if I was doing another show somewhere and I wasn't able to get to M McKenna later on? Like, what the fuck? It was four hours. I'm like, this doesn't smell right. So 
I call my good friend Jim because I have him on speed dial. I, I could go talk to him right now. In fact, he was just chatting here just a moment ago. So I talked to him and he goes, this, is, this sounds a little sketch. And I go, what do you mean? And he said, well, they sold me on this show because they said you were going to be on this show. And I'm like, well, damn, that's, that's very peculiar. And I said, do you know, do you know who they're, who they're replacing me with or who they've filled the slot with? He's like, no, they didn't tell me that either, but I wouldn't have said yes to just go on with fucking Pearl. I wanted to be on there with you because he knows as well as I know that Pearl get makes off like a fucking bandit clout wise. If she gets on with Jim Sexton as she's been trying to do since August of last year, when I had Jim on in my, in Tahoe and on that time. And he's now granted since then Jim's become kind of a hot commodity. So J James Sexton divorce attorney. He's been on uh, let's see. He's was on Lex Friedman. He was on uh He's he used to have a spot on um, Steve Harvey's show. As a matter of fact, he's uh, I mean he's a he's a good dude. He knows his shit, and I think a lot of people would like to have him on the show and really kind of take him to task, but they don't know how to just they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to get him right, and particularly not the Daily Wire. So I think really what the Daily Wire wanted was they wanted Jim, and I think what happens here is Pearl is the one who is engineering all this. Now, I smell a rat, but I don't have any proof until last night. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just bring this one out here. Here's my proof from last night. This is from Sean Hampton. Sean Hampton, by the way, is Matt Walsh's handler, or he's, uh, he's one of his, uh, his people. This is a, let's just say, I have my sources inside the Daily Wire. And uh, Sean Hampton is, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar, he's been on Matt Walsh's show before, but Sean Hampton is one of Matt Walsh's, I don't know if he's a scheduler, or logistics guy, maybe he's the producer guy. I know he's one of, I know he's one of Matt's handlers. This was sent to Pearl Davis, P. Davis and Alyssa. I don't know who Alyssa is, okay? Matt Walsh and Pearl Davis, hi, thank you for your patience. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout this process, I just wanted to confirm that we are all set for March 12th and let you know we decided to go with Pearl's original suggestion of having two Daily Wire hosts, Matt Walsh and Michael Knowles, talk with Pearl and James Sexton. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Sean Hampton, executive producer, Bent Key Ventures, which of course is, is, um, is Matt Walsh's thing. So there's some receipts for you right there that they are in fact working with Pearl Davis, black and white, 100%. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> um, so that, that plus, you know, I think people already know the video from, uh, what you call it from, um, uh, it was Adam Sosnick's video that, that's, that was what 2022, I think is when she was on with him. So long story short, um, more or less. Now, here's the thing is like people say, well, that doesn't prove that she's drawing a paycheck. Jeremy boring, by the way, Jeremy, that was pretty good. That was, I, I will give you, I'll give you props for that one joke that you had there. <laughs> Jeremy, I didn't, maybe I'm, I'm just going to paraphrase it here, but like Jeremy boring decided he's like, Hey, I can tell you 100% that she's not on our payroll. I think she's on your payroll, but she is making money with you. And she is logistically working with you guys. I have it right there in black and white. Want to tell me what that is? Want to tell me what that's all about? See, here's what happens. Pearl comes out and says, you know what? I need, I want to get, I'm doing this documentary on divorce and I really want to get some fucking clout. I want to get some sort of legitimacy. This is how she fucking works, okay? I want some clout. I want some legitimacy. I can't get it from anybody else. Who can I get? James Sexton. Well, you know what the interesting thing is, is one of the reasons why Pearl Davis wanted to pass me quote unquote, Brittany Venti nudes was to hand out an olive branch to get me to give her James Sexton. Fuck you. I am not giving you jack shit. And you know what? Uh, Jim just canceled that, canceled that engagement. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> so is she on the payroll? Is she getting health benefits, Jeremy? Ha <laughs> ha. No, she's not. 
But there are so many other ways to make money in this business that have nothing to do with like being on the payroll. She's not punching a time clock, put it that way. I don't, I doubt anybody who's like the hosts of Daily Wire is punching a time clock. So keep that in mind. I've got some other great shit here too. Yes. Like that? Bye, bitch. God, I wish I had my fucking sound drops. <laughs> I need my sound drops for this show. So uh, let me get, let me uh, clear some of these out of here. Um, I'll come back to you here real quick. That's a pretty deep question. Uh, just wanted to support the OG listening for a uh, listening of figures like you, Michael, Myron and fresh, which by the way, I'm still very cool with Myron fresh. Don't, don't start fucking rumors uh on the on the terrorist watch list yes for uh radical incel extremist groups uh is alarming and at the same time hilarious truth will prevail yeah well that's another reason why i keep my ears to the ground for shit like this because these are the same people that are going to say rollo's radicalizing these incels he's the one who he's the problem uh and then of course i got james thank you very much james for your contribution james will be here in las vegas not Nashville, in Las Vegas, Nevada, on March 14th. Not March 12th, March 14th, right here. <laughs> uh, FYI, Bob says, before we get started, did you see the back and forth jab with, with Dr. Phil? Oh, it was Bill Maher, that's right. Yeah, it was Bill Maher. I, well, I was thinking it was um, uh, Joe Rogan, wasn't. Um, you, had, uh, did, you had anything to do with the influence or possess Dr. Phil because it was so hilarious. I haven't seen the whole thing. I've only seen clips of that. Now I have to kind of go see it. Some guy. Hey, man, thank you. Uh, Don DeMarco. <laughs> Don, uh, Don DeMarco. <laughs> I can't have my fucking drops, man. Sorry. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, my brother. Uh, is human relationships so perplexed? That's a deep question. Let me, I'll come back to that in a sec. Hang on. Don't worry, uh, Toe Token. I'll get to you as well. All right, so all I had to do was connect some dots. You're correct. Uh, but there's more dots to connect as well. Uh, just uh, this is old news. Uh, this is uh, from Nuance Bro here. Now, this is, this is a while back. This was from July of last year. Okay, now this came after the infamous guitar uh, video that, uh, that Pearl decided to delete, but then Pierce Morgan decided to undelete <laughs> and put on his show. And she looked like a deer in the headlights on this one. Why do pearly things delete the video uh, of her playing guitar where she sings about uh, why can't people talk about the Jews? Hmm. Uh, because management, her management team on Daily Daily Wire. Uh, do you have proof? Uh, it's Kobe DeVito. Yes, I know it's Kobe DeVito because I've seen the contract with Kobe DeVito. Uh, I don't know if I should show that, but I could show the top part of it, I guess. Uh, and Gina Bontiempo who manages Candace Owens. Okay, I already know Gina. Uh, I, in fact, I think Gina was the one she was mentioning in the Adam Sosnick video. Uh, she didn't have many followers before they came along. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Uh, here we go. Uh, Gina used to work for Candace. Uh, I thought she left uh, that job. What's, yeah, I, I know she did leave it because I think she got pregnant. Um, I resigned December of 2021 after my daughter was born. Yeah, okay. Uh, but are you managing Pearl or with her in any capacity? Yada, yada. Ha, uh, I've never worked with her or even met her. Okay. So this is where Pearl will quote. See, look, I didn't, it's, it's not Gina. It's, it's DeVita or was it, it's, what's his name? There, Kobe. Yeah. Okay. That's the guy. It's Kobe DeVito. That is the one to, that's the name to look for. So don't get distracted by the Gina Bontiempo thing. Is she? Is she married to that that other that other talking head? What the heck was his name? He's a, a conservative pundit. I want to say it's uh no, I'm thinking of Bon Bongino or Bonjano. Maybe it's maybe they're not related, but uh, that's it. Doesn't matter anyways. It's uh, it's Kobe Devito that you need to who is actually the one that's behind there. And then of course, um, just recently, um, she's copped to uh, the fact that she doesn't do her own well i mean maybe she does her own tweets but she doesn't do she's already farmed out her instagram to uh, other people which by the way again not saying anything necessarily wrong with that because i know a lot of people farm out their their clips and their and everything else but for well especially for instagram right um but like if i go and i look at say like chris williamson or i look at um uh just some like bigger name accounts i i the only one i can think of off the top of my head would be chris is they don't really do their own tweets 
maybe they do a few here and there, but they they farm it out to a team. I would I would argue that Pearl is definitely big enough to farm out to a team. Certainly, her Instagram hell. I mean, even Mike Sartain like farms out to a team. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but don't try to like bullshit people and say, oh, I know I do all my own tweets. You don't do your own tweets. Um, also, Michaela Peterson is the one who is doing the tweets for uh, for her father. Just and will cop to that has has said so on several occasions. So, anyways, there you have it. Now, why would this be a thing? Well, um, let me also point out one more thing here, just so you know that I'm not full of shit. Um, this is from Jim Sexton, and this is what he sent me. I had a conversation with him on the way into this studio this morning, and this was what they told uh, told Jim. Hello, my name is McKenna Water, Water. So just so you know, I'm not full of shit here. These, they reached out to myself. They reached out to James. They reached out to, I don't know, whoever else, uh, because I don't know who was replacing me. Actually, I found out who's replacing me. It was actually Michael Knowles, which was the original idea from Pearl. Um, I am the associate producer for the Matt Wall show at the Daily Wire. We would like to have you on, blah, blah, blah. And basically it was the same thing that I was issue of marriage. What else? Uh, details of panel below. It, it was just co the, a carbon copy of what I got. So just so you know, I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's from Jim. So I didn't like go into Photoshop and just create, make some, you know, some fake ass email. They reached out to Jim. They reached out to me <laughs> four hours later. They <laughs> told me to go pound salt. Um, so to me that says, that this entire thing was engineered by Pearl because Pearl really desperately wants some sort of legitimacy because she's doing a, a documentary on divorce right now. And nobody wants to play ball with her because she's got a very bad fucking reputation. Nobody wants to work with you, Pearl. Certainly not me, certainly not Jim. Stop fucking asking. All right, I also know that you tried to get him uh, in, was it Manhattan or New York about a few, few months ago? And then your people badgered him after that. No, the answer is fucking no. No, I'm not going to legitimize you because that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to use my name to bait and switch Jim into being on that show. That's exactly what happened. All you got to do, here it is. God, God, this is such a good get. There you go. Pearl's original suggestion and have two Daily Wire hosts, Matt Walsh, Michael Knowles, talk with Pearl and James Sexton. Anything, any other, any questions? Any questions? <laughs> so there's your receipt. Oh, Roland doesn't have your receipts. Okay, well, please tell me, tell me, you know what? Please go and verify that for me. I would love to know. And uh, let's see, who else? Um, oh, Jeremy Boring, talk to your staffers. I think there's a leak. <laughs> there might be a leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh man there you go all right i'm not gonna gloat i'm not going to say anything but i will say this is that anybody working with pearl if you're working with pearl you're not working with me if you're working with pearl you're working with the snake this is what she fucking does why is it so fucking hard to get to wrap your fucking head around this you're only as you're only her friend for as long as you're fucking useful to her that's how this works so she is working with daily clearly she's working while well, she's certainly working with uh what's his name sean sean hampton all right as far as i know I, i've seen him on matt walsh daily wire and so i'm having this conversation with with jim sex and i will probably pick up on this later on um with jim when he when he comes out here to las vegas um but uh, it was it actually took Jim to sort of remind me of this. He said the reason that she wanted Jim, she wanted me on the show was because she's looking for legitimacy. And he says, I would never have got I would have never agreed to go on that show just with sitting next to Pearl, because all Jim Sexton does is legitimize Pearl sitting right next to him. And therefore, oh, well, she must know what she's talking about with her divorce thing and everything else, because she's got Jim Sexton there. And it's basically this endorsement. Right rubber stamping uh pearl with with uh, a guy who by the way i told him i said avoid pearl like the plague she's a snake 